If you thought you were having a bad day, at least you didn't almost get sucked into an escalator like this guy. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. My God. You, you dodged death. The dogs. Literally. The dogs. I'm going to go ahead and say that it was time to get rid of those sneakers. I know it's hard to get rid of the sneakers, but it was time. And the escalator knew that and it almost took you with it. So you're lucky. Okay. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Welcome to this education and welcome to another Thursday video. Here on Thursday, we play Try Not to Laugh. And if you lose today, all you have to do is watch on Sunday and test yourself again. Or if you laugh on Sunday, you lose, you do a punishment. Today's just our warm up. We're practicing, guys. If you are ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh, go. We're wearing the same hairstyle at work, so no one can tell us apart. Oh, it's gonna be one of these stupid ones. Watch, they're not gonna look anything alike. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, all right, it's kind of funny. Yeah, it's funny because they're not, they don't look at anything alike. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. I don't know what his favorite holiday was, but just in case you ever needed a double egg tray, we got you, dog, all day. Wow, that's that a lot of. Probably the most expensive one I'll hear about in the comments. Jeez. My Jeez. Mom got deviled egg trays for deviled egg days. Why? Oh, what the? Oh, they're no. everywhere. Oh, no. Boom. Okay. Okay. Happy Easter. Dude. Our, like, how many could, are... What the hell? I had a primarily egg diet. Like, this is... <laughs> they have an egg trays for days. Look at that. More. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Ah, damn. All right. Uh, clearly, there's something going on there. Every family needs one of those trays. Max two. In case you have a couple extra people over and make a few more deviled eggs. You, that guy had hundreds of deviled egg trays. Why would you collect deviled egg trays? Does anyone here collect deviled egg trays? Is there something I'm missing here? Is there like, is there a market for deviled egg trays? Weird. People who stand up as soon as the plane lands. They're savage animals. They are people <laughs> that are sick, really sick. Speak, really sick. Speaking of people who have mental illnesses collecting weird things. That's a, that is a sign of mental illness as well. Unless you're like in the first three rows, there's no point in you standing up. You're not getting off for the next 20, 25 minutes. Is this legal? I'm leaving knots and I'm walking by this car. Look how bald. Those no freaking way. Dude. Uh, that is not legal. Uh, I know that because I had... A tire that it still had tread on it, but the the people at the the garage were like, "Yeah, it's technically not legal, but you, know, you might want to get your tires fixed." That is a hazard. Whatever, I get it. Tires are very expensive. They're very expensive, but it's not worth your life, man. Patios in Europe first. Some patios in America, of course. <laughs> the patio in the strip mall isn't good enough for you, huh? Eating your Panera, yeah, it's not good enough for you. Get out of here. <laughs> it is kind of depressing that this is their, our current architectural uh, cities or standards. Me to my toddler before we go to the grocery store. Okay, I need you to promise me that you'll be on your best behavior. I promised other people that I'd be on my worst behavior. <laughs> and I gave my word, so. <laughs> Oof. You never go when your toddler's hungry or when they're like close to nap time. That's a disaster waiting to happen. They don't listen. They don't know how to listen, I guess. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I just love, I never, I can never get enough of these clips. People uh, using their cars. Let's see, what else, what do we got on here? By the way, can we take a pause here? Can we take a pause while this is fresh in my mind? You guys, I, I can't see that videotape on the couch in that the background. That's terrible. Does it include the DVD? What is that? Oh, it's Dumb and Dumber. Okay, I'll get the couch if it includes the DVD. Oh, it was Top Gun. Ha ha, Tyler was Top Gun. Guys, I can't see that. Look, it looks like the Dumb and Dumber. Can we get a side-by-side -side of the Top Gun and Dumb and Dumber? Can we Can we do that? They look, they're both riding bikes. They're both riding motorcycles. One's a, a scooter. 
Come on. I couldn't see it. Yes, I know. My eyes are bad. Ugh. Keep your comments to yourself. Megan, let's put this clip at the beginning. <laughs> back to this back to this thing here. I don't even know why. Maybe because I'm squinting. Looks like there's a rug on there. A couple boxes. I love this. I love this. Great example. Setting examples for everyone around you. Saving the delivery fee. Of course. It's a theme here. If your wife was on a flight from SNA to DFW on 219, she cheats on Wordle. This is like the third or fourth clip I've seen like this. If, if someone does this, don't trust them. Why would you cheat on Wordle? What a stupid thing to cheat on. Bro gonna lose his job. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. The guy's just so confident. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Oh, looks like it's at some sort of conference, too. Yeah, you broke the display for the day, and uh, I don't think anyone's buying your products. <laughs> my brain, when my wife tells me any kind of plans for the first time. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it's true. I'm not saying that this is okay. I'm just saying that this is how the world works. This is how our brains work. I don't understand it either, but it is how it is. It is what it is. Sad moment filmed at NFL game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't. Oh no. No! Oh! Don't. He just spilled. That's $100 right there. He just spilled $100 worth of stupid stadium beer. That was probably like 15 bucks a cup. What are you doing? Don't, don't risk it, dude. Don't risk that kind of money. Jeez, you already spent probably 100 bucks a ticket. Jeez, man. And now you get to relive the moment over and over and over again online. Creating a resume in 2024. I am a white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily mostly able-bodied, <laughs> neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, unitarian, universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic, gray demi-bisexual, <laughs> survivor of acute and complex. I would say that you know, maybe like 2020, 2021, a few years before that even, you were for sure getting that job. And it didn't matter if you even identify that as that stuff, just put it on your resume and then you get the job. Now companies are realizing, ah, maybe that's, maybe that is not something we want in the office. Cause that's just a lot of drama, probably but more than likely. You know, why do you need a little something sweet after eating a full meal? It's a problem for me, okay? I can't control it, mm -hmm. okay? You. It's in my family. My father said it's on his side. I can't control it. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, it makes me very sad. It's called the sweet tooth, yeah. It's called addiction. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. Sometimes you need to make sacrifices as a dad. Put the clubs down, do it. Put the clubs down. Yep. Smart move. Smart move. Not this time. <laughs> Look, sometimes you need to go to the course. You need to unwind. I get it. It's, you got to get away for a couple hours. Let the wife get away as well, you know. Just a quick heads up. If you are making cinnamon toast for your children for breakfast, uh, take a quick look there. Yeah, this one on top, that's cinnamon. Yep. And down here, that's... Paprika. <laughs> yeah. Y'all good, buddy? How'd that taste? Are we, uh, oh. are we good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Hey, hey, it's not his fault, kid. Your dad was trying. He's trying to be a good dad. Is that the Target brand? I think it is. Oh, well, there's two different brands. Okay, that's why. Um, You know, this is like the, the green uh, fuel 87 fuel at the gas stations at BP. You can't make the handle green. This has got to be a thing too. You can't make paprika and cinnamon. There's got to be like a universal code, right? Make cinnamon orange. Paprika is only black and white. I mean, point of view, you thought you were going to get a tax refund, but instead owe the government some money. How much did you owe here? Oh, crying. Yep, I get it. It sucks when you have to owe. Oh! Oh! Is that Cal... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
That says California do. Well, let's go back here. So federal do. Did you not withhold any California? Why do you have oh twenty four hundred for Cal? You owe more to the state than the feds. How? How? That's what I want to know. That's insane. And I live in Minnesota where the tax rate is just below California for the state tax, state income tax. Oh! <laughs> Mom's cat! <laughs> Whoa! You oh. told me to stop! Why? Did you help? Yeah, no, seriously, dude. Here's the funny part and the messed up part about this clip. Some guy is sitting there recording this, laughing at his buddy. This is a horrible situation. Look at this. That's probably a $4,000 trailer, $3,000. $15,000 car, $12,000. Uh, I have anxiety for this guy. He's got bad friends. He's got a bad trailer now, bad vehicle now. Tough day. Costco hack or whack? So here we have a gentleman at Costco, right? And what he did was take the large soda cups and fill them to the brim with sauces. So instead of buying ketchup, he filled the cup up all the way to the tip top brim top with ketchup. Instead of buying mustard, he filled it all the way to the top with mustard. So that way, he doesn't have to buy any condiments for the house. He just takes those home. When it's all out, he come back and do it again. Why is Ice Cube reading this? That sounds like Ice Cube. I just about to say that. I guess you can do this, but it's kind of scummy. Just a little bit. Look, how long does a, a bottle of ketchup and a, a thing of mustard last you? A couple months, three, four months. And if, it, if that is lasting less than that, you eat way too much ketchup and mustard. Said you gotta st that's stealing, dude. It is what it is. That's stealing. What is the thing a guy has done to you and you were just like, it's fine? Um, he proposed to me, and then nine days later, he died. He he ghosted me. Um, uh, that is the true definition of ghosting. I don't know what else to say. That's dark. Next. Do you ever look back at your pre-kid life and think, what did I possibly do with all the extra time that I had? Because I think that almost every day. Why was I not like making a million dollars with some new business idea with all <laughs> of the extra time that I had? Dude. I will say, like having kids is the best thing of all time. And I encourage people to have kids. I, I do. But it is, it, it is all consuming. Truly. Like, you what did we do with all of the time we had we had so much time before uh, there's there's zero time there's like an hour after bedtime and that's it and then work time and that's it throwback to when i ordered sweet potato fries but was served slippery suckers instead what the hell's that? There you go. thank you oh it's all right it's all right slippery oh, oh no 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 don't touch the food <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. You guys oh. need anything else? Do you want to get some um, I'm fries? supposed to have, yeah, I'm supposed to have sweet potato fries anyway. Oh, yeah, you got the wrong one. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. That sucks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just walk out. Don't eat the food. Maybe she's having a bad day. And if you're a server, don't touch the food, please. Just don't do that. Go, go for it. Go! Get it out of there! Hurry! No, no, no! no, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a, it's a, oh no! No, where's he gonna go? Back Why up! You open the door? Go what is going on there, by the way? Yay! Yeah! Saved it. You might have a little water damage in there. That's alright. It'll dry out. Get a find a good detailer. Now you gotta get the other cars out of there. Wow. How the Do you get to sue the city for that? I don't know. Oh there it is. Found it. What? I thought I lost my ring. Why did you take your ring off? For my gloves, my golf gloves. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there golf cart girls here? <laughs> Does daddy talk to a lot of girls when mommy's gone? Yeah. <laughs> He's telling on you. <laughs> You're such a liar. Don't get mad at the kid for being honest, Scott. 
Something's going on. Oof. And that's how he was sleeping on the couch that night. <laughs> Poor guy. And oil. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Rip that in. End oil. Oh, that is precious. See, it's just the smugness. That, that That's what it is. It's the smugness. It's the virtue signaling. Because you ask this person, where, what fuels your electric car? They'll say, oh, the, the electricity, of course. Well, okay, what is it? Are you on the grid? Is it the coal fuel in your grid? Oh, I hate these people. And I'm not even against electric cars. I like electric cars. I just don't like the smugness, the the, the fart smelling, the, the own, their sh don't stink people. My dad has been meticulously growing a lime tree inside our house for the past like 15 months. And um, when I got here, it wasn't inside. He said the tree gets to live outside now. Um, and he works really hard on this, but let me show you the lime tree. What? He said there should be limes any day. You gotta give up, man. That tree ain't working. You're in the wrong climate, I think. <laughs> 15 months, are you kidding me? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the life cycle of a lime tree. Uh... I don't know. Need to bring back bands where all the members look like absolute losers. Hey guys, we're Friday Pilots Club. <laughs> what are these guys? Friday Pilots Club? I love that. <laughs> this is genius marketing. I mean, <laughs> I, I, that's what I, I gotta look these guys up. But genius marketing, I love it. Woman quits job after winning $90,000. Who is going to tell her? Apparently, this woman won a scratch-off lottery for $90,000 and immediately quit her job. She said, I was unhappy with my job, but God made a way. Listen, maybe, maybe God was saying that you needed a break, maybe a vacation for one or two weeks, but he was not telling you, 90, you can retire. I don't know what economy she's living in, but I'm living in 2024 economy. And $90,000 in 2024 economy ain't sh Like, of course, I'll take you. I'll be, I'll feel very blessed. I'll be very thankful, all that. But quitting my job? Yeah. Nah. Now, I can understand if her job was toxic, then that's a whole different situation. I'm assuming, though, if that's the situation, she's pivoting to another job and not just kicking her feet up. Because if that was the case, this lady is in for a rude awakening. 90,000, if you're single, you could probably make that last a couple years. You know, well, inflation's going back up again. So yeah, 90,000, unfortunately, is not gonna last you very long. Not retirement worthy at all. Not even close to retirement worthy. Me deciding what to do for dinner tonight. All right, let's see. Is that a good takeout? Yes. What are the other options here? Cook home, eat leftovers. Ah. When you cook, just make sure you don't, unless you're gonna take it to work the next day, don't even do leftovers. Cause you know you're not gonna eat it. You're gonna get takeout. You know you are. Fishing and golf, you'll just get fat. Don't what? do it. <laughs> I've never in my life felt so personally attacked by Dave Ramsey. Damn. <laughs> All right, I got to find this Dave Ramsey clip. Dave, people need hobbies, man. People need to unwind somehow. Fishing is perfect. You got to relax a bit, buddy. I, I love you, Dave. I do, but that's that's where I draw the line. I don't know the, the whole context of this clip, but I just got to say, getting the hot goss from my toddler every day after daycare. Wait, who threw up? Connor did? How many times? Three times? Connor threw up three times at school. Did he go <laughs> home after? He was home. Okay, he was home, so Connor was never at school. Yesterday. This happened yesterday? Like, really yesterday or like a few months ago? Because sometimes it, yesterday's a few months. Okay, <laughs> at home yesterday. It was, his, it was his dad. So Connor didn't throw up. His dad did at home. Connor was not there. This happened yesterday, yesterday. Okay. Oh, wait, and what? June's going on an airplane? Just, no, not June. Who, who? Lulu's going on an airplane. Who's going on an airplane? Oh, Piper is. Piper's going on an airplane to Japan? Dinosaur land. That's fun. When? Yesterday. Okay. Who's she going with? Her grandma and grandpa. Who had an accident? 
Lulu, that's okay. We all have accidents on the toilet. It's not really an accident. <laughs> it's on the. Yeah, never mind. Okay, sounds like a good day. You know, anyone who has a toddler, I'm sure, is laughing at this right now. This is. You got to get the good gossip from the toddlers after daycare. There's always something, and you know, half of it is. Eh, I don't know if I. I don't know if I take your word for it, toddler. High school me playing three sports and never getting injured. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave. 39 year old me hurting my back trying to get into the shower. <laughs> it is incredible. I feel like I'm not even that old. I'm in my early 30s. And even like five to six years ago, I could run five miles without stretching before or after. Now, if I don't stretch before or after, like I'm just dead the next day. Bro getting death threats. Death threats? What's the matter? I've been getting death threats. You mean death threats? Not this time. You and me! You and me! I'm waiting on! Die! Die! Straight to hell. Straight to hell. It's 2024. Get with it. This, I don't even know. Is this like an old vine clip or something? That time we hooked my kite up to a fishing pole. This is the best idea I think I've ever seen in my life. I can't even see it anymore, barely. How? Holy cow! You can't even see it! Dude! I want to do this. I sincerely want to do this. This is a phenomenal idea. <laughs> We thought we had him. Oh my god. <laughs> Chocolate. Hey. Quit touting the police. All right. Look at that. You almost had him. <laughs> you almost got him with a bag of donuts. ADHD math is that it is 125. And I have an appointment at 3 o'clock. So it's almost 1.30 which means it's almost two o'clock. And because it's almost two o'clock and I want to get there early, that means it's almost 2.30 and that's almost when I need to leave, which means I don't have time to make food. Is that what that is? I don't, is that ADHD math? Is that what they call it? Look, I like getting there early too, but you can have a sandwich. It takes a couple minutes. No one's going to marry you, her nom. Like you have a beard. Mm. No one's going to date you, her You have a beard. No one's going to be your boyfriend, her and arm. You have a beard. You are not a preference to a lot of men. And then I'll get um, like really feminine men message me, but that's not who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. Hannah. I like really masculine men because I am, I am very soft. Uh, I'm so different to what you see like on TV, you know, on TV. I've never seen you on TV. But, have you not? but no, generally you'll see, oh, she's strong. She's, you know, what she's talking about is very powerful, whatever people say. But then at home, I'm very quiet. You know, I'm, I'm very feminine. I'm very soft. People don't get to see that side of me, you know? Um, but no, it has been difficult. Where I wanted to be married and have kids, I would never be a single mom. That's not what I've ever wanted. Shave it? Wax it? I mean, if you did that, though, you wouldn't... You probably wouldn't be famous anymore. So, maybe... I, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Quit complaining. That friend that can't walk straight. Yes, it's seriously. Oh my gosh. And the lack of self awareness. How do they not know that they're walking into you? <laughs> Everyone has a friend like this. And if you don't have a friend like this, you're probably that friend. <laughs> I don't know why this is a thing for some people, but it is. It's like walk straight. Are you purposely? Trying to push me into the grass like this is stay get over there. If this is you, you better lower your tone when you talking to me. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. I'm gonna get hate mail for that one. Grow up. Grow <laughs> Okay, all right, that's not funny. Grow up. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. And all you gotta do is watch on Sunday, where you test yourself 
And if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment, okay? So we'll see you on Sunday. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. The beer brewed here, it is used to make the brew beer in this. Idiots.